First here for dangerous deja vu and parts of a condo in South Florida come crashing down yet again. Good afternoon, everybody. Just weeks after the first fall, residents are once again ordered out. Seven's Vanessa Medina live in Northwest Miami Day with the very latest there, Vanessa. So the building is 47 years old and while it passed its recertification, you can see there are obvious problems. You've got dozens of families still homeless and as you can see, things are getting worse. Luis Sanchez has lost practically everything. The roof on his condo building partially collapsing July 15th, then weeks later again. And when asked where he's been living, in my car. I live in my car. So I, I make friend, friendship with so Hey, could you, can I take a shower here? Oh, okay, Luisito. Asking friends to use their bathrooms while his wife and son stay with friends. And he's not alone. I yeah. have only one, but I have uh, 24 more neighbors that are, they are in the same situation as me. Their home, along with 36 other units, uninhabitable. After parts of the roof fell about a month ago, they were told to evacuate. They allowed us to get into the apartments twice, eight days ago and today. He went back Tuesday to find a second collapse and all of his stuff inside of his home stolen. No security, nothing. As you can see, the gates of the, the condo are open permanently. I lost my, you know, my belongings. Maybe simple things, maybe a monitor of the computer or the full computer or your tablet or your 32 inches TV. Nothing left inside a place he used to call home. Apartment number is two, uh, I'm sorry, 20. Eight. This, you see the American flag? Yes. Yep. This balcony is my apartment. He said he paid his maintenance fee, but the building was never maintained. And as to what happens next, he says no one knows and he cannot get any answers. So it's unclear how much money they have in their reserves for their homeowners association, if insurance will step in. But on the other side, the damage from the first collapse is still there. So not only did they have to deal with losing their home, but losing all of their belongings because lack of security and the looters that went in. So these people are dealing with a lot. And at this point, they still have no idea what comes next. Reporting live in Northwest Miami-Dade, Vanessa Medina, 7 News.